Hey everybody, Eric Counts here with a quick video update for you on how to use the spinner inside of Disco. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to Templates, click it. Now what that will do is load up your template library and you're able to create as many templates as you want. To the right you will notice what we call stock templates. These are templates that we provide for you um, that you can download, you can use, you can show all of them. There's currently 11. We're going to put several more in there. When you get ready to use them, right, you'll be able to uh, drop them over into your system just by uh, duplicating them or viewing them and moving them over into My Templates. So these are stock templates that we upload for you. Uh, you move them over into My Templates to use them. But let's say we're inside My Templates and you're going to create a new template. You just click Add New. It's going to open up. You're going to select a category. We're going to say this is a bureau letter. We're going to call it um, Testing spinner and then this is a letter Hi, we made to test the, the spinner all right so when you come down in here you'll notice that there's a, a large you know blank area that's its total purpose there is for you to create your template inside of that uh, area when you click over to this button this is the spinner button when you click it, it will open spinner text. And you'll say um, option one, add. Option two, add. Option three, okay. Now you notice what it does is it takes all of those options and puts it inside of these brackets and it's separated by these uh, horizontal, they're called a uh, pipe. So uh, when you utilize this template, it randomly selects either option one, option two, or option three uh, to fit into that particular area of the template. To show you how that can become useful, I'm going to go back to my template list. I'm going to go to stock templates, and I'm going to show you one that we have spun out pretty heavily. Um, simple round one dispute view. Now you'll notice down here, it says things like, recently, a few days ago, the other day, last week, a couple of days ago, I received, looked at, got, was shown, viewed, a copy, a version, a printout of my credit, report, file, record, and found, notice, saw. So basically, each time that it prints this letter, it's going to randomly select one of those. So the letter might read like this, recently, I looked at a version of my credit report. But it also might say, a few days ago, I was shown a printout of my credit file and I noticed, or, and I found, several, some, multiple. Uh, the idea is that even if you have uh, clients that are husband and wife, even their letters aren't going to be the same. Every letter that it creates will be a little different in how it words the uh, process. Additionally, it's also going to allow you to um, make it through the bureau systems without being flagged quite as often for using the same letters over and over and over. Guys, that is how the template uh, spinner works and uh, also how the template creator works. You can use these uh, variables along the side uh, to um, uh, create the best possible letter that you can. If you have any questions on how this works or how the uh, templates in general work, get with me, uh, get with Corey. We will be glad to walk you guys through this stuff. 